Hello, we are here again with the sideways ball game. Uh, we're going to continue our work on uh, custom gravity. We left off on the camera, making the camera, yeah, aligning the orbit camera. And uh, last time we had some trouble with Connor's script, but we have worked that out. So now we should be able to move straight on to aligning orbit camera because there is still that issue of like he explains in the thing, but you could just see it like when you're sideways on the wall, the camera feels kind of weird, you know, like it doesn't really work like you'd expect it to. Oh, wait, I'm having weird shit happen right now. Okay, never mind. But yeah, the camera doesn't work the way it should really when you're flipping between different gravity perspectives and that's going to be a problem so that's what we're going to fix I'm going to put gravity back to normal for now what yeah there we go I think it no hold on there's Still a copy the same over problem. error oh. no uh, if you want to use a non-convex mesh either make okay Oh, so you just gotta flip your thing to be convex then? I guess. But that, that was the difference, I guess, between yours and mine. I, I never had to do that. For what? For your ball? The, I guess so. Or no, I don't have convex. What's it talking about? Yeah, I don't know what Q it's on 48. about. 48. What? Oh, wait, do I have... What is cube 48? For me, at least. What the fuck? It skips... I, it stops right at cube 48 for me. There's no... Four, it goes up to 47. Very what, weird. What is cube 48? Can I just search for that? Yeah, there's nothing named 48. What are just... What is cube 47, I guess? If I could narrow it down somewhat. Oh, it's when I was making these ramps, I guess? Well, we didn't... You just copy... I just did the... The code. Yeah, like, I didn't write like a reference to these objects in the code. So, do you yeah. have a cube forty-eight? Is that just the yeah, problem I do. on your side? What is your cube forty-eight? It's this one right in front of me. Is that one convex? Do you want to flip that then? I guess I don't know why though. Yeah, I don't know why it would give you like a compiler error for that. reference script moving ball on this behavior is missing. Hmm. It's here. Did you save? Yeah. Maybe we didn't work it out. <laughs> um, uh -oh. Weird. Why would it matter? Maybe... I, maybe I gotta redo player input space. Oh yeah, did you read? Or, well, no, I don't get any serialized fields here. Do you? Oh, do you? You just have an error there. Yeah. You can't even do anything on the script, huh? Mm -hmm. How did you replace the script? Did you delete it and like make a new one? No, I just went in here. And just pasted a new one and then saved it. Yeah. That should work. Why wouldn't that work? Is it a different name? Moving Sphere. That's oh! It. What is yours called? Oh. <laughs> there you go. Okay. Hopefully that'll be fine. I think that's it. Yeah. 
You have all your sterilized fields now, so. Nice. Should be. And it. gravity's upside down. Oh. Getting some other errors. Input error. Oh, input button sprint is not set up. Oh. Yeah. Sorry. I knew there was some extra <laughs> stuff. That's easy though. Just, just add a shift. thing real quick. Yeah, it's left. You have to put left shift, but yeah. All right. Input manager. Axes. Do you, you think you have to match exactly which one I put it on, or does it matter? Probably not. No, it doesn't. It doesn't matter. So sprint capital S positive button left shift and then I left everything else the same Is left shift one word no space oh, okay. all lowercase the joystick buttons are a real pain to map because they're they go yeah up they're like just called like button seven yeah and they're all different like on every controller Okay. This seems uh, right. Does this happen? Yeah, that happens when I'm going really fast towards the camera for some reason. Oh, yeah, that makes sense, actually. You're going faster than the camera's updating. Yeah. Because it's on late update. That's okay. probably what's happening. Now check this flipped the other camera. way. Because I feel like it was sideways gravity that was giving yeah. you the trouble, right? Yeah, I mean, if it's the exact same. Then it's something in the the Unity. Yeah. Why is my air acceleration so high right now? I think this looks like I'm falling. I put myself in the wrong spot to check it. Yeah, I'm not like, uh... They're just flying away. Jump off that ledge. Yeah, that's how I it should behave. Yeah, I think it's gonna behave, like, identical to yours. Okay, that's good. And you have yours backed up still, too, so if you ever do want to try to solve what exactly happened there, it's pretty easy to go back to that, I think. Yeah, <sighs> I... I did save it, right? Need to. Yeah, I have it saved as lizard climbing. <laughs> That's right. Forgot we That's... called it that. I've, I've figured out a, a perfect li lizard climbing script. <laughs> okay. Well, uh, we good then? You want to start working on the working through the tutorial? Yeah. We're probably gonna have to make a sphere map. But it doesn't look like he does anything special. Fuck, I forgot. Yeah, I forgot we I were think supposed he to just do like, that. I think he just makes a sphere and then puts some stuff there. I don't think he, like, warps anything around it. He did do one, like, indent on it. Oh, he did? Yeah, he did, like, a divot into the, the map. But he... he probably just pulls the vert vertex down then, or, like, an edge down. Bubby. Hello. <laughs> you see me smiling in the back for like a second. <laughs> I want to do a dog stream. I'm just present it as if it's him on the, the keyboard. <laughs> He's just sitting here. I could like Kibby in. Sometimes he just steps on the keyboard and like shit just. Pfft, that's the whole stream. Yeah, Kibby would just hold down one key. <laughs> Put his face on a key. It would be dog stream, and it's just like... <laughs> dog versus cat. This is dog stream. <laughs> what did I do? <laughs> My screen just went black. I don't know. Well, I hope I didn't break anything. Sometimes I... I kick my 
monitor's power button a little, or my, <laughs> the button. <laughs> The, like the way up plug. here, the plug. It's like right where if I like let my feet stick up against the wall. But it was a key bind. I pressed a key bind that fucks the oh. that like blacked out my screen for a second. I don't even know what I did. Whatever, it doesn't matter. Okay, uh, let's just make a sphere real quick then. Let's make a sphere map, just for future reference. I'll make it off on the side. I think we could just I'll, do this with Pro Builder pretty quickly. Uh, I'm gonna add it to above my tower because I think the next thing we do is variable gravity. So. Oh, so I that could... way you have to jump up to the sphere and then. Yeah. That would be sick. That's a smart way to do it. That'll be later on. That it actually works, but for now, I'll just put the sphere here. Actually, I don't get to choose where I put the sphere. <laughs> Pro Builder puts it. Why does it? It doesn't do I'm that for me. Nowhere. It's not Rules. that bad for me for some Pro reason. Builder. I'm gonna look where I want. Are you an orthographic I think I'm camera? Far away. No. That looked like a weird perspective. All right. Well, worst case scenario, I'll, I I think I'll just build like a bridge to mine then, if we're gonna do oh like. It's way over there not that far actually that was pretty fine that was not that bad i think maybe the trick is to go far away so that <laughs> the far clipping plane is like really close my my bet is that it puts it like halfway between those two or something so now i gotta grab a chunk of vertices and indent them in to make like a weird little divot hole Oh, it's a Death Star. I made a Death Star an accident. Whatever. And then there's a tutorial on how to do, like, weird displacement shit, like, in Unity, like, procedurally, right? That could be a fun one. Make, like, a, uh, lumpy, a lumpy planet. Yeah, although I think... I think the stuff he does that for is, like, the water. So it could just be a normal map that he's using. Oh, that would make sense. But you can get a bumpy. bumpy normal map. You can generate like a bunch of different bumpy textures in Blender. Or that other thing that I have that I've never learned. What's it called? Touch Designer? Touch Designer is like the, the nodes system. It just has its own software. Web system. system. Oh, I'm still I'm still big screen. Oh, well, whatever. I'll switch it back. How many subdivisions did you do? I think I did three. I don't know, yeah, look I at my that's... sphere. Does that look about right? I think so. Buddy, you got it. No, that's yeah, that's three. I did four originally and I was like, I probably don't need that many. All right, I got it real nice and lumpy. I guess I should put some like obstacles on it or something. Whatever, I guess, no, the obstacles don't matter. As long as I have lumps, I think. Or no, I should do a slope. That way I could see if snapping still works. I guess I could just do that with this. I'm just gonna put like some arches on it. The arch tool is really nice. I think there's something like it in Blender, but I feel like it's not as usable in Blender. Like, I guess I just mean that it's like, it's such a good level design tool. Yeah, I've been having fun with Pro Builder. It's good for laying foundations out for sure. Okay. So there we go. This should be able to let me test if the snapping thing still works. Uh, yeah, okay. I have my lumpy planet. Ayo. Oh, 
Okay. So now we can start doing a script. Let's see how it works now. Yeah, you can't go very far. Whatever, I don't think we're actually, we're not moving on to that phase anyways yet, so. Go back in there. All right. Wait, is, it, is it working for you? Are you at that point? No. Okay. I was just, I was sure. just stepping on the ball, just with normal yeah. gravity. Stepping on the beach. The orbit camera is still awkward because it uses the world Y axis for its up direction. So we can still end up eliminating a control axis when looking straight up or down. Ideally, the orbit camera aligns itself with gravity, which is both intuitive and makes sure that relative movement always works as expected. We use orbit angles to control the camera's orbit and constrain them so that it cannot go too far up or down. We want to keep this functionality no matter which way up happens to be. This can be done by applying a second rotation that aligns the orbit camera with gravity. Add a quaternion field to orbit camera for this purpose. Initialize with the identity rotation. So from our, it's gonna almost look like just the map rotated then from our perspective. Like I feel like that's a much better way to perceive this kind of shit. Yeah, although I think, do we do anything else with the camera after? Uh, no, then we move on to spherical gravity and then custom gravity and then pulling toward origin, pushing away other bodies, rigid bodies, sleeping. Oh, we're going to take a nap? Staying awake. I need that one. Uh, yeah, and then we're done. So yeah, no more camera work within this one at least. Cool. Okay, so we make a quaternion called gravity alignment that is set equal to quaternion dot identity. What does that mean? That's the current rotation. Oh, so it's I, just like what is identity is just current? Identity is like it itself. Okay. That makes sense. The so other, it's, it's like the, self. Yeah, I get that. Yeah, or the equivalent of it is this. They, we, they use this in unity a lot <clears throat> to refer to itself I think you could do this dot quaternion as well oh okay uh, at the start of late update adjust the alignment so that it remains synchronized with the current up direction in order to keep the orbit from changing erratically when an adjustment is needed we have to use the minimum minimal rotation from the current alignment to the new one the minimum rotation can be found via quaternion dot from rotation, which creates a rotation from one direction to another. In our case, that's from the last aligned up direction to the current up direction. Then we multiply that with the current alignment to end up with a new one. So it just takes where we were before and where we were after. So this is for if we change the gravity on the fly, basically the camera will adapt, I guess. I think it's... I think it's so. I think this is just like the basis of it, like based on position or something. Based on something, it'll change. It just seems gravity, weird like, that it would need to take into consideration last and current if it's just one fixed gravity, right? Like, wouldn't it just be set in awake if we could no, just set it to be equal to gravity? Well, because it would be like it's not one direction, it's like based on where you're standing. Oh, so like, it changes if, depending on where you are. I mean, like, because the gravity is always pointing to the center of the sphere. So if you're at the top of the sphere, the gravity would be negative Y. Oh, and I see. And if you're at the bottom of the sphere, it's positive Y. So I, it's not that yet. <clears throat> He's future-proofing for that. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I was thinking of flat plane up-down gravity still. Yeah, this is... I don't know if he's going to go into polar coordinates, but I could see that being a thing. That's when you, like, uh, write everything as a... as, like, a circle, basically, 
instead of XYZ, you write it as like a, a distance from the center. Huh. He may That'd not be do that, though. Seems like you, maybe, yeah, if he's been laying the groundwork for it, it'd be like a big overhaul, but yeah, I don't know. That's something maybe I'll... That's something that I always think about trying to do, and I just don't remember it very well, so that might be something I want to go back to. All right, well, let's throw this in our camera's late update here. So we create something called gravity alignment, or did we... Oh, no, we already made that. Yeah, we already made that. It's a quaternion. So we have this quaternion called gravity alignment that... When did we make that? Uh, in the last line. Wait. Right here. I'm behind or something. We've only I've only done one line of code so yeah. far. It's just this one line. Up X. Oh wait, we're on custom gravity. Oh no, we're on a lining orbit camera. We still have to set the camera to rotate with gravity. We haven't done that part yet. Oh, but we're like far down on custom gravity. Is that it? Uh, it's one point four. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. I, I was looking at is one is one reason. custom gravity? Like the the main thing at the top says okay. custom gravity. I, I didn't the... realize that was the name of like the section. Okay, so yeah, we're at one point four. Okay. So just get so... that that line set up so that we have the quaternion made. Shit. And then we use that quaternion here. So set it equal to quaternion from rotation. We use gravity alignment times vector up. Um, and the obvious and the opposite of gravity. Oh, this is, is the camera. Yeah. Oh, duh. Okay. This is I an orbit camera. Anything. Yeah, this is an orbit camera. Yeah. Don't, make sure you don't put that in moving sphere. I, yeah, as soon as uh, as soon as I saw the late update. <clears throat> Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> the granola bar. Damn it, what did I do? Okay. That's fine. And it's at the beginning. Gravity alignment. We had a pretty like not that crazy, but like a significant earthquake pretty close to us. Oh, really? In Farmington, it was like a like a four point three or something. Jeez. To, where we like a lot of us in Escalon felt it. I didn't feel it. I still have never felt an earthquake in my whole life. But uh, Dylan said he felt like someone was shaking his chair like this, and he like turned oh. around to see who was doing it and realized it was just happening, and like freaked out. But yeah. Yeah, it's honestly like. It, it is like kind of an otherworldly thing where it's like hard to f understand when you've it's experienced happening. it yeah and only because it was like um it was because i was on the 11th floor of oh god our, yeah our dorm building so you can it like the way buildings are designed is that they sway during an earthquake so that everything doesn't just crush get crushed immediately yeah so yeah, I definitely felt it then, and I was like, "Oh, mm, this is mm, like mm. I I could see how, like, I had the same thing basically as you were. Like, I I felt like I had never perceived an earthquake. And you're now you've been uh, reawoken. Now I I get like how I can miss it basically. You get because why I, I every tap single my foot person. All the time. You what? I I tap my foot all the time, so I feel like I'm constantly perceiving a little bit of a shake. <laughs> you see why every single person tweets omg did you feel that earthquake no i mean i i see why people people would say like i i don't i didn't feel the earthquake yeah we were it's all like, just standing up in the kitchen so i don't know if like yeah. sitting makes it more i would think standing would it make is. it easier to perceive but i guess not because all me like me jason and my mom were all standing and dylan was sitting and he's the only one who felt it yeah, I guess that could be it. It's like closer to your core. 
if you're sitting your butt on the the chair, which like connects to the ground. I don't know how much your legs like. I don't know how much your legs absorb. I never thought about that before. I know how much my legs absorb. The orbit okay. rotation logic. <laughs> that was good timing. Yeah. The orbit rotation logic has to remain unaware of the gravity alignment. To make this possible, add a field to keep track of the orbit rotation separately. This quaternion contains the orbit angle rotation and should be initialized in a wake, set to the same value as the initial camera rotation. We can use a chained assignment to do this. Okay, I need to go over this, I think. Chained assignment? I think that's just, I mean, he just puts this oh, equals like this chain. equals this. Yeah. Like, they all equal the same thing. Yeah. But why does the the orbit rotation logic has to be unaware of the gravity alignment? So the orbit is just, like, when you move your mouse and you rotate around it, right? It's, I think it's the orbit angles that we we define at the beginning, where we say, like, the max orbit angles are 0 and 45. What does that mean exactly? That's how far we can go like this, up and down on the camera? I guess I should bring up, I, I have a... I think it's the angle at which we sit at when we first start. The angle that we're looking down at the camera when it starts. So that should be like 45? Yeah, I think so. So why 45. does it matter if it knows what gravity is? Like if I'm up on the wall, wouldn't I then be like looking at it sideways all weird? Or I guess um, I guess the well, angle's we relative. We have to look at We have to look at where the angle Yeah, I mean the angle isn't defined by anything. It's just a vector that we say. We just say 45. It's not getting it from anything. But I'm trying to figure out where where it's used. Trans on local rotation, transform. Oh, so it defines the camera's angle at the beginning. I said that. But then on can, in if manual rotation or, auto, or automatic rotation, constraint angles, look rotation equals. So it's our, it's our, uh, like, default rotation angle, I guess, to the ball is all it is. So does that is that relating to the automatic, like, camera snapping behind you kind of deal? Yeah, it snaps to that angle. Okay. But I think it's, I think it's in world space, maybe. Like, the angle itself. So I guess I could see why that's irrelative, like, it's irrelevant what gravity alignment it is. Because, like, everything else deals with gravity, and then this is just an angle... So it's going to be yeah. relative to all the other numbers we have? Yeah, it's just relative to the ball. I suppose that makes sense. Okay. Um, okay, so let's let's plop that in there then. That's a pretty easy one. We just create a, another quaternion right at the top. And then we plop it into our awake. Because it's just so the just same... This just rotates that. So, like, we have the vector 2, which just looks in a direction. And then we use this rotation to rotate it around the ball. and Or not to rotate it, but keep track of what rotation it is around the ball. It only needs to change in late update when there is a manual or automatic rotation. The look rotation then becomes the gravity alignment multiplied by the orbit rotation. So, th oh, so it's it's initially separate from gravity, but then once you manually rotate it, or it automatically relocates, then you take gravity into account? I think so. Yeah, because we multiply look rotation by gravity alignment. 
How do we just have gravity alignment? Oh, because we created it. So gravity alignment is just... I don't even think we define it yet. I think we're going to find it. Oh, no, well, we, we set we it equal to quaternion.identity. From the rotation. So I guess it's because the ball is rotated, so the camera rotates to track it, and then we get the rotation from the camera, and from that we find out what the orientation of gravity is. Yeah, I guess so. Seems like kind of a weird way to go about it, but I guess it makes sense. Uh, he's yeah, he's pretty focused on keeping the like keeping it so that you could take the camera off and it'll still work. I think. Okay. Like if you take the camera off out of the input player space. Or wait, no. How does that work? The I player guess I space mean he's is separating them out, but yeah, the player space is what the the play, the character moves relative to yeah what do we plug it into though the camera okay yeah so he's making it so that you could take like an enemy you could put it on the fly where it's like you're uh running and then once you're in a an area it like does it in like an in an engine cutscene sort of thing where it plays the, the camera just tracks free. the enemy instead yeah, and it, like, freezes your guy at the same time. I feel like... probably have to look <laughs> different either way, but... This is a very specific idea, but I feel like a thing that always happens in, like, really buggy, shitty games that people always find hilarious that would be really funny to find, like, a way to intentionally do it is, like, when the camera gets pulled away for a cutscene, but you still have control of your character, you know? Oh yeah, I mean it's that's literally it's that, but then you just don't freeze the guy. Yeah, so like the camera's just hella far away doing a cutscene, and then your guy just runs by in the background. He's just running around yeah, back there. I, I, that's such a funny that is, idea. That's generally like I feel like that's not bad game design. Like it's bad game design if you didn't mean for that to happen. But yeah, I, it's bad when you are trying when you're actually like using a cutscene to try and make the players feel something. Yeah. Then it then you it gives you the chance to That's the case it, I'm but... thinking of. I can't think of anyone who did that like as a gag on purpose. Like I guess Half-Life you could just always walk around during cutscenes, but it doesn't it's not really a cutscene cuz it doesn't take your there's, camera away. I feel like there's so many games that do that though. I'm trying to think now. I feel like Sonic games maybe. No, Sonic I guess games yeah, all... if you consider like dialogue scenes where you just like go up to a person and hit E and they talk at you yeah if you consider that a cutscene then that's probably broadens the definition a lot but I'm Definitely. thinking specifically when they like pull the camera away and they're doing like dramatic like mm -hmm. panning scenes of someone and then you're just like jumping in the background or something yeah I mean what we have to we just have to figure out how to do in engine cutscenes basically yeah but yeah that like I said super super specific idea it's not like I'm like Stupid. But that's always fun. That's always fun. Okay, so we do not need the quaternion look rotation anymore because we have orbit rotation instead now. So now I could delete that and then replace look rotation here. Orbit rotation. And then we could just get rid of this whole else. And then we plop this baby in there. Quaternion look rotation. So we do still use look rotation. It's just now we define it down here instead of through all these if statements. And it equals gravity alignment times orbit rotation. So yeah, that is when we take into account where gravity is. Okay, so I guess I guess this it's at a point now where we can test it. So I guess let me do it in normal gravity first. So if I don't touch anything, it snaps straight to this 45 degree angle. And then if I move around but don't touch anything on my camera, it should auto align back to that same angle. Oh no, it doesn't it doesn't do this. It doesn't orient up and down. It only orients side to side, it looks like. We originally the orbit angles are only X and Y. I guess it doesn't really matter, but yeah, I just never noticed that. Like it, it orbits on the 
X and Y plane, but it doesn't match like what angle you're looking at the ball from this way. Like this could be any any old angle. Yeah, even this dumb one. I guess it ultimately doesn't matter because I don't feel like I'm planning on relying on that feature too heavily anyways. Like I don't I guess it's fine, but I, I don't know. I feel like we could remove that and it would be fine. It's just like yeah. a, a little like small feature. Well, it might be. Yeah, I guess the uh, auto alignment stuff in general is not like fully necessary, but. I mean, I, I could I, it's, see it yeah. having to do with the, the spherical gravity. Maybe, yeah, that's true. Okay, so now when I flip, I'm going to try to do it live first. See if it can handle that. So now I'm going to flip it to sideways gravity. I don't think the objects are going to be able to handle that. Oh yeah, this is sick. <laughs> it looks like a completely new map. Cuz like your you're, the perspective oh, yeah. is so different. Yeah, that's, that's interesting great, actually. Half-Life Alex does such a good job of this. Oh my you god. You know what this I I do I get why he separates them so much now. He separates what? The the, the ball and the camera. Oh, yeah. Because the ball is what's snapping, but this is like the camera is like rotate. It's like snapping to a rotation. It would be so hard to replicate if it was a, a child of the ball, I feel like. So let me try to reset it and let me see what that initial angle is if I don't change anything. Because I'm curious about that. Because that's one that doesn't take gravity into account. Oh, and it looks completely normal. That's so weird. That's like exactly what I would like expect it to be. But yeah, the rigid bodies are still fucked up. If you change the rigid, if you change it, the rigid bodies don't react properly. But he has a ch he has like a a way to fix that. So whatever. Whew, whew. Yo, found a secret. But yeah, this is cool. Like design a level, and then just flip it on its side, and then. You have a new level. <laughs> yeah. Just redesign. Yeah, and then redesign with that as your, like, foundation, you know? Yeah. The whole game is just one cube level. That could be a... That could play into the, the pool time thing. Oh, yeah, you run along the walls? I don't know. I When you said all one level, that's, like, my only... It's like my main pitch for that game. Okay, so yeah, this works. But there are still some issues, as always. It's never going to be a perfect system. So this works when manually adjusting the orbit, but automatic rotation fails. Oh, I didn't test that. I should have tested that. So... If I go like this. Oh, no, I should do this one. Oh, yeah, wait. Was that it? It's kind of hard to tell. Hold on. Oh, it's not even doing anything. Let me set the timer down, like, really low. Um, a line delay, right? Is that it? I think so, yeah. Close oh yeah, ball. it is. It's trying to do it. But yeah, it's definitely fucked up. Yeah, look, I'm holding S right there and it just did like a arc. It's, it's doing like a curve. Even though I'm holding straight. Okay, so I see why that is a problem. <laughs> Automatic rotation fails because it only works when gravity points straight down. We can solve this by undoing gravity alignment before we determine the correct angles. Undoing. That's done by applying the inverse gravity alignment to the movement delta, which we can get via the quaternion inverse method. Is this in... is this back in the ball? Or is this in the cam... no, this is still in the camera. 
So under where's this vector two movement? The automatic rotation. There we go. Automatic, yeah. And then vector two movement is right there. Okay. So we go vector three aligned delta, which is just change in alignment, I guess. Uh, yeah, I guess so. We're making a new thing in general, I think. What the fuck? So. <laughs> How did this just happen? Movement is the camera's movement, right? No, it's the focus point. Movement is the difference between the two focus points. It's that line on the ground. So what we're doing is taking that line on the ground and aligning it to wherever we're standing. Something's up with my keyboard right now. That's weird. Okay, quaternion dot inverse gravity alignment times focus point So we take the opposite of gravity and multiply it by the difference between our focus point and the previous focus point, which is, I mean, it already blends between previous focus point and focus point. So by multiplying it by the inverse of gravity, that makes it irrespective of gravity's alignment, I guess. Yeah, I think that is the point. I think that's some vector math. Okay. Because I don't totally know what quaternion inverse gets, but I imagine it's the it's just the vector pointing the other way. Because quaternion is a weird rotation thing. It's not like x y z. It's it's a vector based quaternion or a vector based rotation. But yeah, I'm I'm just gonna believe him on that one. Okay. Okay, so now we should have a good system of being able to walk on the walls and the camera and the physics work well, but the rigid bodies don't. So I guess let me try automatic rotation. That timer is too long. I need to make that timer really short so I don't have to keep worrying about that during the debugging phase. Yeah, that should be like one second. Does it not auto rotate around if you're going in like the opposite direction? I thought it would uh well the forward keeps the forward like changes as you as it aligns right like doesn't the camera dic like if you just hold forward you know doesn't the camera like turn the ball in a way yeah it, it, like we were saying this yesterday how it goes in a circle if you well that's if you hold a D that's if you hold oh. to the side. It doesn't do that what for you... forward and back. I thought if you were went towards the camera, it automatically went like that and flipped to the other side of it. But I guess I'm just remembering it wrong. I think so for all we it does have is something. Routine. We have something, I think, where if the yeah, if it's 180 minus delta ABS. If 180 minus delta ABS, AB, delta ABS is really small, so 
if <clears throat> where is this delta abs actually oh it's the absolute value of the the different angle between orbit angle y and heading angle so i think that is the one you're talking about if 180f is less than a line smooth range Oh, maybe I can change that. Is that a scalar I could, or a thing I could? I think aligned smooth range is. Aligned smooth range. Okay. Let's put that up to 90, see what happens. Okay, I'll put it to zero and see what happens. Put it up to 181. Okay, it's, it's doing something. Okay. Oh, no, never mind. Oh, yeah, see? What the fuck? Now I'm just holding this. That's just so weird. I guess I just remembered this incorrectly. But I totally thought if you went towards the camera, it would auto, like, orient to behind the camera. To behind your forward. I guess not. Let me try it with normal that, gravity. That might be better. The way you're describing, I think that might just be a, a camera that we would like more. Yeah, I guess not. I guess I'm just remembering this wrong. False memory moments. Okay, well, I'm, I guess I'm not too worried about that. It does sound like a nice system, but it's not something I'm gonna like make a fuss about. I guess I this could is just pretty nice too, actually. I this could just glance. So, this kind of keeps the the camera. This makes it so the camera doesn't swing around so much. It, like, keeps the camera movement relatively small. I'm going to see if he shows an example here. Oh, yeah, this seems to be in line with... Oh, here, this is it. Notice that with this approach, it's possible to move the sphere straight towards the camera without it rotating away. Tiny deviations in directions will be dampened as well. Automatic rotation will come into effect smoothly once the heading has been changed significantly. So yeah, it should do that. I think I think something's fucked up. Cause isn't this what I'm saying exactly? I guess Automatic he does a little rotation. move. Automatic rotation will come into effect smoothly once the heading has been changed significantly. I guess he might have just done that. Hold on. I think I can make it do it. It seems like it, it only starts rotating once you turn a little bit. That's what I'm saying is I'm I'm not, yeah. I'm not just holding forward. I thought I could just hold S and it would auto orbit. But I think what he did is he, he's holding S and then he goes, he turns a little bit and he keeps tapping between the different turns so that it orients all the way around. Yeah, I think that's what he's doing. He's much better at it though. He stays like, he's doing like a completely straight line. Maybe it's, he does a little bit of a. He does a divot, but other than that, it's a completely straight line. So yeah, drive. If you drive forward and then just hold W after. See, it looks like he just like scoots to the side. I don't get it. Whatever. I don't know how he did that, but I, I guess it's roughly the same. It's not too big of a deal. Well, his settings are different too, right? Probably, yeah. Okay, I think we can move on. I don't think this is that big of a deal. Okay. I just got a little worried. So is yours working though? Are you able to like run, run along the side of your level and shit like that? I haven't checked yet. I kind of, I've been doing this where, 
or like I uh, I just type it out and then I see the results on your screen. But I do need to. That's yeah, just like to make I, sure I can... we don't have any little errors. Yeah. How is it staying like this? I want to look up. This is kind of annoying. I want to look up at this thing, but I just all I can see is my ball's ass. Yeah, this works for me. Yeah, secret unlocked. Let's go. I found my little secret area. This is a cool secret area. You have to go like that to get there. I know, these arches. Something I noticed. Look at the reflection on your sphere, though. It's like vertical now. Oh, well, the sun's over there, right? Yeah, because, like, it's your skybox is still the same. It didn't rotate the skybox. Yeah. Just like a weird oh, no. look. For a second, I got tricked by the gravity and thought I was looking straight down. It's pretty confusing. It's weird, like, going through. It literally feels like a completely new level. Like, I don't know where the fuck I am at all. Oh, hey. I'm so I lost. I think I have infinite air jumps. Well, it's your air acceleration, right? Probably. If your air acceleration is really high, you can just keep wall jumping with this system. Right. It needs to be, like... I have it at, like, only, 10. Yeah, it needs to be slightly above gravity. Otherwise, wall jumping doesn't go up at all. Yeah. Yeah, I noticed that if you put your max acceleration hella high, you can just like run, like wall run, basically. If you just it's spin you, space. It's because your your upwards acceleration isn't limited. So the only way this work, like the way it works right now, is that since we have that thing where we're also kicking off the wall, you know? Yeah. Our upward acceleration has to be lower than this magnitude kicking us off the wall. Because otherwise we don't get kicked off the wall stronger than we high go up it, and we just keep doing it. Yeah. We never get kicked off. So our air acceleration is stronger than the off the wall jump power. Okay. Uh, do you want to work on spherical gravity that's kind of like the fun part but that also is it's a big chunk uh what time is it we're at an hour we're like perfectly an hour i think i might want to call it i kind of i do want to keep working but i also feel like i'm gonna burn out in the next 20 minutes yeah i mean i, I the only reason i think because it's like i feel like most times when he starts with like a two this is yeah, like a big deal. That's very true. I think we're that's making like... a new script. Oh, we are, yeah. Or no, we're making a new class. That's a new script. Is that the same thing? Uh, yeah. I, I well, I don't think you can define multiple classes. Maybe you can actually. I guess yeah. It must be a new script because he doesn't say what script it's within. He just says, for this the, tutorial, we'll create a static yeah, custom he, gravity class. And he writes using Unity Engine. That's You only That's, have to put yeah. that one once. Okay, so it's a new script, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Well, that's kind of good. That makes it makes it a better stopping point. This is awesome, this turning thing. Yeah, it's so fun. Like you, it's, it's like a really fun system. I always notice whenever I draw stuff that, like, I'll... I'll draw something that I think like like I'll try hard to draw like the right perspective or whatever and then I turn it like I mirror it and it looks way better mirrored than it did the first time that's funny because I feel like usually artists say the opposite usually people will mirror flip because then it like you're looking at it yeah, from a new it... perspective and you see all the fucked up shit that you didn't notice before yeah that's interesting. For me, it's I don't I don't see the original fucked up shit until I've mirrored, and then I see like. I guess it is kind of the same thing, but I guess what, what I mean fuck? is like. Why was I going so this, fast? This level is instantly much cooler when there's when it's sideways. 
Like, a lot of these structures <laughs> look much better from a 90 degrees. Oh, that is a hard thing to get. If I put a kill plane right here, this is like, this is a, a level. I gotta catch my ball. I can't. Where are you going? Alright, whatever. I think I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna do that thing. I was talking about a few days ago that I was... said was basically just a kill box, but just the uh, uh, trigger volume that teleports you back to a spot. Yeah, I really want to get to working on that kind of shit. I, that sounds like, you know, like uh, like a platform that moves when you jump on it or like a zone that makes yeah. you slippery when you go over it or shit that's like that. That's definitely... That's in this one. He gets to it, and that's the only reason why I feel like I almost don't want to do it, but it's also like... Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, like, I was gonna should say, I be if... tiptoeing around shit that he's eventually going to cover, or should I go into it with some understanding of it already, you know? Yeah, I think... I think this is a better... This tutorial is like... It just makes me think like, oh, there's a smarter way to do it than what I can come up with right away. Yeah. So if I go... If I think like... Oh, I'm just gonna like, uh, want on on impact or on collision, like set position or whatever, you know. Like, I feel like it's easy to think of a simple way. Yeah, just to get this out of the the box immediately. Like, once we get to the point where we're synthesizing our own like original functions, we're coming up with our own original ideas. I'm gonna suggest so many fucking dumb ideas. I'm gonna make so many stupid like versions of things and then send them to you and be like, yeah, it works. Like. I just feel like every time I've made shit like that in Unreal, I always end up being like, why the fuck did I do it like that? Like, Yeah. So definitely, you know, don't be afraid to correct me. Okay. But, uh, yeah, I mean, we're, we're past the hour mark. We got a pretty good amount done. The camera reacting to gravity. Here's something I noticed, though, which is kind of interesting. If you, if you flip your gravity, it, like, watch how it snaps. It's weird. Like, it just instantly flips. It's kind of cool. Oh, yeah, I didn't think about the camera. Like, look how it flips with the can with the gravity. Yeah. I had a weird thing. I don't know if this actually mattered, but... He doesn't have anything specifically on like talking or like NPCs or anything like that I think I, I may have just discovered a bug oh really I can't I'm looking at your twitch you're still on the it's all it, it's gonna be hard to tell from what I just did anyways oh, okay but um if I hold shift so what I'm if I hold shift it doubles my speed you know that this is on my end this is my fault yeah. I think but that's how I did the sprint thing. If I hold shift and then change the gravity while I'm still holding shift, it then like sets that as my speed. So like now my base speed is 32 instead of 16. So now when I hit shift, I go up to 64 as my speed. And then if I do that again, I hold shift, I change the gravity, I flip, then my base speed is now 64. So now holding shift goes me to 128 speed. <laughs> like. I just keep getting exponentially faster. Oh, oh, because you don't have a thing. You probably don't. Do you have anything that says uh, when shift is not pressed, set speed back to what it yeah, was? Yeah, I do. But I think what it is oh, okay. is when I enter a text box, I think that might be specifically what it is. While I'm holding shift, if I enter a text box here, it's not mm -hmm. pressing shift anymore, but it doesn't accept it as like me releasing shift. So I right. just hit shift again and it just increments again. It just skips the step where it decrements it. So, I don't know how to fix that. I think you'd have to make a, a shift state, or a sprint state. So, so it's just if shift choose. isn't being held, then it yeah. does it, rather than... Because right it, now it's just set up when, when you push shift, it changes it. When you release shift, it changes it back. Yeah. And it's just skipping that release shift phase by hitting a box. Yeah, I think you could include it into his his update state section. Well, that's in your script now too, so <laughs> yeah. Good luck. I guess that's true. I could, uh, I could have. A well, swing I just mean, 
Or you could just delete it so you don't have to deal yeah. with that bug. Just be aware I, that I have introduced yeah, I a don't bug even, into your thing. I haven't pressed shift at all. I didn't think about that. It's really not like a necessary feature by any means. I was just like wanting yeah. to do that. And also that way once I tie animations to this, you know, I could uh, have the animation change when you do that. Uh -huh. But all right, yeah. Uh, thanks for watching. We're going to come back tomorrow and we will do motherfucking custom gravity, spherical gravity, Mario Galaxy shit. Because we set it up where the camera will adapt to any kind of weird gravity we do, but we only have up, down, left, right, forward, back, all that shit. But we could do, like, relative to a sphere gravity, like weirdo gravity now, and the camera will still react to it, as you can see. I gotta see... Oh, yeah. That's it for today. Goodbye. Goodbye.